Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a big super drug haul for you guys. I mean, I did pick up a few things because there was a student discount going on and you know me, I'm just stingy like that and I need to make sure that I make the most out of the discounts that I have available. I don't know why, every time I see a discount, I feel the need to spend. Um, I, I think I have an issue, but I did pick up a few things from Superdrug and I hope you guys will enjoy this video. I also did film this makeup look for Diwali because it is coming up soon. I believe it's on the 31st of October. That's what my mum said, but um, it's coming soon anyway. So I did a kind of colourful um, makeup look that would go really well with like a sari or like an Indian outfit. Even just, you know, your everyday clothes, whatever you're doing, it's just a nice Diwali kind of inspired makeup look. So that will be up on Wednesday and yeah. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is this eye pencil. I'm actually wearing it on my waterline today and it's by Maybelline. Uh and it's in the shade 520 it's called the maybelline color show crayon coal and it's just like a vibrant blue color now if you go to indian weddings a lot and you wear these bright colors or you just like a bright light blue waterline you need this it's so pretty and it doesn't really look over the top it just looks really nice on the eyes so yeah this is a good one i'm happy that i picked it up because i've tried it it's super creamy it just glides on and it feels like it's not gonna budge the next product that i picked up is by makeup revolution and i picked up a very very vibrant colorful palette the reason why is because i don't have any eyeshadows that look like these and halloween's coming up i've I've got like a lot of Halloween videos to be done and I think that this will really come in handy if I'm doing something different, I don't know. I just bought it because I don't have anything like it. And it was five pounds and on top of that I got 20% off. So, um, oh, I haven't even tried to swatch them yet. Let me try. I mean, the pigmentation is not bad. I mean, for a vibrant yellow to show up like that on my skin tone, that's not bad for a five pound eyeshadow palette. Let's try the other colors. I'm actually really happy with the pigmentation. I thought, mm, I don't know if it's gonna show, but you guys can see that that's showing pretty well. Like, and I'm not light skinned, so I'm happy that's showing up. So maybe I might do like an Indian wedding get ready with me and try and use some of the vibrant colors in here with a very vibrant colored outfit. Let me know if you guys want to see something like that, but I will definitely be having fun with this. L'Oreal was having a three for two, so I picked up three things for them. The first thing that I grabbed uh, is the new L'Oreal Law highlighter and this is, I tried it in store and it's, oh my god, it feels so soft. And I'm actually going to try it right now my skin this is what it looks like it's just a very pure like champagne gold kind of color and it feels like a cream when you touch it like a very it feels literally like a very soft mousse and then let me swatch it it's just a nice subtle highlighter it gives you a nice sheen what i like about this is that it doesn't feel too glittery oh my lord I'm like Tin Man right now. Yeah, that is very pretty. I'm happy that they actually came out with a good highlighter. The next thing that I picked up is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. And I don't know why it's called the plumper, but it's basically a nice brow um, wand kind of thing. It just comes out like a little brush. And I got the shade Medium Dark. And it looks like it's the right one. I've really been into like fluffy looking brows. Um, so sometimes I just go in with a brow gel and just brush my eyebrow hairs out, clean it up with a bit of concealer, then I'm good to go. And that's why I picked this up. I wanted to try it with a uh, drugstore one because I have been using a lot of my Estee Lauder one. So hopefully this keeps my brow hairs in place and it doesn't budge. So I can't wait to try this. I will let you guys know if I do like it. You guys know that I'm always reaching out for the same mascara, which is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And I I think you guys are kind of getting bored of it. I don't know, but I'm getting bored of it, even though I love it to bits. And if I can always count on it to make my eyelashes look super long and super full. But I did pick up another one, and it's the L'Oreal uh, Mega Volume Miss Manga Mascara. I've seen a lot of uh, YouTubers try this out and say that it's really good, so... 
I gave this one a go because it was on the 3 for 2 offer and I need to branch out on my mascara game because I keep using the same exact one all the time. So hopefully I'll like this one as well. I have more Maybelline products that I picked up. Maybelline is one of my favourite drugstore brands. It's just They just have very nice, pigmented, affordable, good quality makeup. And obviously you guys know that I'm obsessed with the Lash Sensational, so I got these two because it was on a what buy one get second half price so I picked up both and they are both in intense black I also picked up this new Maybelline uh, Master Ink uh, eyeliner in white I do have the matte black one which I absolutely love but this one is I was just so, so surprised to see them have this and I did like a swatch on my hand so I'm just going to do a swatch and it's super super pigmented I did do a swatch on my hand earlier on and it wouldn't budge. I tried to wipe it off as I put it on but a bit stayed on and that did not want to go off. I tried scratching off and I had to wash it off because it wasn't just like wiping it. So I'm happy about that. Um, I'm happy that a white eyeliner is so pigmented like that for such an affordable price. So I'm going to be using this a lot especially for like graphic eyeliner or even like some of my Halloween tutorials. So definitely excited about this one so one thing that I do lack in my makeup collection is cold pencil and I picked up the new master precise skinny uh, crayon eyeliner it comes in this super cute packaging and the it just comes out like this you just have to twist the product out and I'm gonna show you how pigmented this is like come on I am so happy about this because it's so um, pigmented and so affordable that, oh my god, and the packaging's so cute, I love the colour, I love the size of it. Um, this is like one of the products I was most excited about. And then the last and final thing that I got from Maybelline is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I got the shade Transparent. This is a really, really good under eye setting powder. I used to use it a lot before, but then the lid broke and then I just chucked it away. I have to say though, their packaging for this powder is so not good. I think they should invest in a better packaging because they always break. Like, look at this, this one's already breaking. Anyways, I guess for the price, what do you expect? But um, it would have been better if they had better packaging. But I definitely love this for under eye setting. I did pick up a few um, body products and the first thing that I got is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula uh, Hand Cream. And I love Palmer's Cream but um, the coconut just really like caught my attention. And um, this is, it says it's got 24 hour moisture, um, it's got no parabens, no phthalates. I'm so bad at these words. No mineral oil, no gluten, no sulfates, no dyes. So it's quite natural, I'm guessing. It says it's raw coconut oil. And I've ran out of hand cream, and hand cream is one thing that I absolutely need in my handbag. So um, I needed another one of these. I did also pick some of my Veet Face Wax Strips because this is what I use to get rid of my lovely moustache. And also I use this to kind of clean up my brows. I don't go get them threaded anymore. I just use this to clean up over here in the center and I just pluck this area and that's all I do. I'm just so sick of having thin brows because people keep over plucking them. It doesn't break me out and um, I find them really nice, like they're really good. And I would suggest though, if you're gonna try this for the first time, do a patch test first so that you don't react to it. Cause I know a lot of people react to waxing strips. So um, definitely try it first. I picked up a razor because I just needed a new one. This is the uh, Wilkinson Sword Hydro Silk. Um, it was like six pounds or something, I believe. Um, all the links for these products will be in the info box, by the way. But yeah, I just picked this up because I needed it. I've never really tried this one, but I'll, if you guys want to know, I'll let you know. But um, yeah, I picked this up. And the last thing that I picked up is um, shaving cream to go with that. You guys don't know how lazy I am with shaving. I just absolutely hate it. It's not even funny. I guess I'm not the I'm I'm probably not the only one, but if I can get laser hair removal one day, that'll be just like, oh my god. That will just cancel out all the worries of having hairy legs. You know when you go out and you have like um short you know those crop jeans at the bottom of your ankles or you've got like a knee tear and you see that you haven't shaved and you've got hair there you don't know how many times that's happened to me so um i need to pick up some 
shaving cream and a razor so I did also pick the one for dry skin because my legs are dry as hell so those are all the things I've got from Superdrug and if you guys didn't know already I did go shoot a video with Superdrug and I'll link the video in the info box if you guys want to check that video out I did two of them but I'll link the recent one um, it was so amazing to actually go there and do a video with them and being on set with everyone it was so cool and it was so much fun so if you guys want to go see that video links in the info box uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one and let me know if you want to see more super drug hauls so make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe if you're new I love you guys and I will see you all in my next video bye